Hi everyone. Today I'm officially releasing version 2.1 of my Minecart Rapid Transit Station, or MRT Station for short. This version is in mainly intended to provide uh, better compatibility with the new Minecraft Beta 1.3 update. I've also made some very minor improvements to this station as well, so I'll be showing you some of those things in this very brief video. One of the first things I'd like to show you is when you press the stopping button to arrive at a station, uh, it no longer plays a chord but now plays a chime. And this is thanks to the new redstone repeaters in the update. So something like this. All right. The next thing I'd like to show you is with regards to the arrivals area here. This sign is now instructing me to board a cart to my right. And that is a new stationary cart I've installed in the middle of the arrival platform. So instead of myself uh, exiting the cart and manually walking out onto the platform, I'll just board the cart to transfer myself here. And the booster cart will now cleanly take my arrived cart back into the cart hopper. So what this pro this thing uh, alleviates the problem of um, if I manually exit the cart, the, what happens is the arrival cart will usually rotate in some weird direction. And this will ensure that the booster cart will always be able to take my cart away. Uh, so this is an idea initially suggested by uh, Minecraft Addict. Uh, in one of his videos, it's called Assisted Cart Disembarking. And a YouTube commenter by the name of DeBobKnife uh, pointed me to this video, and I thank both of you for um, uh, pointing me to that uh, thing there. So um, the next thing I'll show you is I've installed some dispensers on the main platform here, uh, so you can grab a cart from a in your hand. Uh, and also, it's next to this extra cart chest I've hidden on inside the platform itself. I've never, sh it, this is, this chest has been in previous versions of the uh, minecart station, but I've never shown this in, in the, any of the videos. So, you can use, the dispensers and chests are conveniently located next to the manual cart launch track here. So, in case uh, your uh, cart hopper is empty, uh, you can just grab a cart from the dispenser of the chest and push a cart down this track to reload the hopper. Alright, the last technical thing I want to show you is I've seen uh, some sort of bug where, let's say, for carts leaving the station. So if you're in a cart leaving the station, uh, what happens is you'll hit this pressure pad here. And this, this pressure pad will s uh, switch that track, you can barely see there, toward the main track. So as you pass over it, you'll switch. Uh, the delay isn't long enough so that you'll switch over here. But sometimes the delay on this pressure pad is very quick. It'll just, right after, it'll immediately switch to the right. And, what'll, and what you can probably guess is the person in the cart will end up inside the cart hopper, and that is definitely not desirable. So what I've done is I've installed some emergency hopper exit doors here. So in case a person does end up inside the cart hopper, uh, they can, instead of breaking the glass, they can uh, try to open the doors and exit safely. It's it's a bit of a workaround for a bug that I don't know how exactly to fix, but um, uh, I think it's uh, the best thing I can do at this point. Alright, I have a few last tidbits to show you in this new version. The first thing is that I've included a couple of new entrance schematics for the elevated side platform version of the station, as you can see in these images here. Also, in all station schematics, I've lined the outside of the station with gray colored wool. Now that the latest version of MC Edit supports colored wool, you can use the Replace tool in MC Edit to replace the gray wool into any other colored wool or material that is available in Minecraft. This is a great way of making your stations more identifiable, especially if you plan to have multiple transit lines running across your world. You can color code your transit line as the red line, or the blue line, or whatever color you deem appropriate. The last thing to note is that I've also released a separate tutorial video on how to import these stations into your world using MC Edit. If you're wondering how to do this, please click the annotation link at the bottom of this video. Well, that's about it. My sincere thanks to everyone who has subscribed and or commented on my videos. Again, if you do end up using these stations in your multiplayer server, please do let me know, as I have yet to see these stations in use on an actual busy SMP server. Thanks again, and hope to see you later.